Hello my dear health seekers, Inga from Health Origins here and today I've got a super exciting recipe. I'm going to be making two seed butters, so sunflower seed butter and pumpkin seed butter. So let's begin. So this video I think is long overdue to be redone by me because sunflower seed butter uh, video is I think my most popular video probably on the channel um, and and you know it was a bit lengthy so I thought I'll redo it but also as a bonus I'm gonna give you a um, pumpkin seed butter as well because it's just the same thing um, it's just as fast and all you need is just one ingredient which is sunflower seeds and also if you want to make pumpkin seed flour um, butter even um, you just need uh, pumpkin seeds so yeah so let's begin so all you're gonna need for this is a food processor um, so and what I've done is I've roasted my three cups of sunflower seeds. The reason why I'm using three cups of sunflower seeds, you need a bit of volume of seeds, you know, in the food processor so it can actually blend better and process better. So, so these are roasted sunflower seeds. So what I've done, I've just used my roasting tin over two burners on my hob um, and I've just kind of spread, spread them on the bottom and um, you know, on a like medium low heat and let it uh, kind of fry, dry fry, and then I kept on stirring um, to make sure. And you need to, you know, if you don't have a large roasting tin, just do it on a normal um, pan. Just do dry frying on the pan, um, but put it like the the thinnest layer, you know, as you can on the pan, um, so that all the um, seeds get roasted evenly and keep on if you don't um, you know don't want to like take so long to um, do a little bit at a time so that it just covers the bottom then you have to kind of mix it a little bit so everything gets distributed so it took me about five minutes I think um, with the sunflower seeds um, and um, you know you just want the some sunflower seeds to start kind of yellowing a little bit not quite brown and because if you see you know a lot of brown seeds you already probably over roasted it you want to hear that little bit of crackling noise um, you know it means kind of like some sunflower seeds are popping a little bit um, so that's good sign so then from then maybe two two three minutes just keep on stirring and keep on roasting you just want slight roasting because what roasting does it releases those oils that will help to turn these seeds into seed butter um, and the same with pumpkin seeds um, you just dry roast them in the frying pan or a roasting tin if you've got one um, and you you kind of on, on the same medium low um, you want a thin layer on the bottom as you can this is three cups again so you want a volume of seeds if possible um, because it'll be easier to blend it in in the food processor um, but with the sunflower seeds again about five minutes or so um, and then with the, uh, with the pumpkin seeds you hear the seeds actually starting to pop almost like popcorn you know they kind of crack the little shell um, and so you know keep on stirring and when you hear it starting to pop every you know um, a few kind of moments um, you hear a few pops in a second even then switch it off keep on stirring and maybe transfer it to some other um, maybe metal dish so that it um, you know stops cooking because you don't want to over overcook your seeds either so um, so let's start so all you need is basically just the seeds and a food processor so I'm going to just put it on and these are a little bit warm still you might wait you know you might want to wait until they are fully cooled or you just can put them in when they warm it's just obviously you don't want to put them too hot because they are still sweating it could be a little bit of you know liquids on the side you know like water kind of evaporation so let them cool a little bit at least um, 
but I think while they are still a little bit warm it'll probably help them blend too so all you need to do is now you need to put on the lid and we're gonna need to be blending um, and maybe keeping the sides scraped every so often until it becomes into butter um, and don't burn out your food processor so maybe process it for three four minutes and give it a minute or two break so that you know the motor doesn't overheat because it will need about i think 10 or more minutes we'll see um yeah but it's it's quite a long lengthy time and it might seem like it's never gonna turn into butter but it will i promise so let's just put the lid on um, and then start blending um, and we'll keep on scraping the sides as we go along if they start sticking to the sides um, and keep on doing it until it starts getting into that butter consistently and stopping the motor every so often just to cool down a little bit. So it's been two minutes so far that I blended it and it's going, um, you know, quite like little crumbs. Have a look. Um, it hasn't started sticking to the sides as of yet, but I feel it's starting to a little bit. If you can see, it's kind of at the bottom there, starting, just starting. So yeah, so we'll keep on going um, until um, it starts really forming more into a butter um, so yeah so that's kind of how it looks like so that you know you're doing um, right if you see this kind of consistency and another additional ingredient you can add is a little bit of salt if you if you want to put a little bit of salt um, then that would go um, well here but I'm just keeping it plain no salt um, because you know you, you can I mean, a little bit of salt won't harm anyway. Uh, it'll give that extra bit of taste, but um, just to keep it low salt or no salt, I'm not putting it here. Um, so yeah, so I'll keep on blending until it starts sticking to the sides. So about 2.30 minute mark. Um, now it's re it started to come up the sides a little bit. So I'm just gonna clear it out and keep on going for another um, you know few minutes and um, I'll probably let it run till about four minutes and give a minute's rest and then continue so I'm basically given um, you know the sides a wipe every half a minute or so Mm, it's starting to smell really nice now. So at around six minute mark, we see what's kind of starting to resemble quite a um, thick butter um, starting to form and as you can see it's it's um, it's beginning to look a little bit more congealed together a little bit more stuck together um, so yeah so we'll just keep on blending until we have the butter so it's been seven minutes and you can see it's really starting to liquefy now and it's starting to stick to the sides again um, so you might need to scrape a little bit um, just to kind of mix it up better um, it might just kind of do its own job but I, I kind of like to help it out a little bit so yeah so we're at seven minute mark and I think we probably need about a couple more minutes and we'll be done so it's been eight and a half minutes and it's looking really good. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty much there. The butter is there. If you want a more liquid, smoother consistency, keep on going for another minute or so. I think I'm gonna do that, just an extra minute. So nine and a half minutes. This is looking nice. So, so yeah, I think we're ready to jar this. So I'm gonna just take the blade out and I'm gonna um, put this lovely um, sunflower seed butter in the jar, um, clean the uh, food processor and we're gonna repeat the same process with our uh, pumpkin seeds. 
And now we're gonna repeat the same blending and scraping um, steps uh, with pumpkin seeds to make pumpkin seed butter. So these are three cups, as I mentioned. They cool down slightly. They're still a little bit warm, but that's fine. That'll help us blend. Um, so yeah, we'll just keep on going and see how long the pumpkin seeds will take. So it's been um, 10 minutes blending this. I did a couple of stops, but still I could start smelling my motor. It's probably not a good idea to do one butter straight after the other. You probably want to let the motor to really cool down for, you know, half an hour or so or an hour maybe. Um, but yeah, so this is about 10 minutes. I think I'm going to give it a rest for a minute and I'm going to go for another minute to just make it a little bit um, more liquid consistency. Um, for the pumpkin seed butter. Um, and then we're gonna compare the two and do the taste testing. So I gave it another half a minute. I'm not risking the motor burning out. So I'm just gonna, cause it looks pretty liquid now. As you can see, it's 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 fairly good as the, uh, the butter concern. So I'm gonna just, whoops, making a mess everywhere. Um, so I'm gonna, just put it in a jar and we're gonna taste test it. We have the two nut butter, nut butter seed butters even. So this is sunflower seed butter and this is pumpkin seed butter. Um, so yeah, and I've got a little bit of extra. So it made like one um, 350 ml jar plus a little bit extra. So it's about five, maybe 500 ml. So if you have half a liter jar, that should fit in quite well. Um, so I'm gonna do the taste testing. So we'll see which butter I prefer. I think um, the sunflower seed butter, I think it'll be a little bit more neutral in flavor than the pumpkin seed butter, but we'll see. So I'll do a little bit because I've already taste tested from spatulas and everything. So I'm a little bit over buttered right now. Um, mm, yeah, the sunflower seed butter has this kind of great halva taste. Like I mentioned to you, like a Lithuanian sweet, I know, and it's really claggy. It kind of sticks to your, um, to the roof of your mouth, to your teeth, to your, um, yeah, in, in your mouth, but that's any nut butter will do that. Um, the, the peanut butter does that as well. So let me just give it, so yeah, it's nice. It's got that slight roast taste. And let me now taste the pumpkin seed butter. Mm. The go this has quite a sweeter taste and a bit of earthy taste as well. Yeah, I think they would both um, go great with um, into salad dressings actually as well, I think, and into baking like cookies and cakes as well instead to replace the oil. Nut butters are great for that. So yeah, I think I prefer the sunflower seed butter, you know, with the milks. I actually prefer the uh, pumpkin seed uh, milk, whereas I prefer, I think, the sunflower seed butter better. It's a bit kind of more neutral and um, I love the roasted sunflower seed flavor. So I think I, I would choose that one. And it's, I think it's more versatile because it's lighter as well. So you could make light cookies with it and things like that. Where if you're allergic to peanut butter, you could replace peanut butter with, you know, either that or, or the uh, pumpkin seed butter. So this is new and hopefully improved video for you. Let me know which seed butter you prefer, whether it's sunflower seed butter or pumpkin seed butter. Um, I'm intrigued. And um, if you're new here, welcome and subscribe to this channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like my videos. I um, upload videos every Wednesday and Saturday now, so I'm changing up a little bit. 
I'm no longer doing meal prep for weight loss show because I find that people probably kind of want to mix and match the recipe so they might not want to you know do the same two dishes that I'm making and it's harder for, for people to find my recipes um, I've realized you know when I do one show with two recipes in it so I'm going to do single recipes but you can obviously you know combine whatever recipes you like for your meal prep so um, let me know what you think of this change um, let me know what other recipes you would like to see on the channel and as always remember food is fuel so be mindful of what you put in the body until next time